today, we're going to review some new Korean snacks from H Mart. H Mart's like a candy shop to me because there's so many cool new snacks that I've never tried before and they always catch my eyes. I decided to review five of them and let you know if they're any good. Starting off, we're going to review these truffle turtle chips. These turtle chips are some of my favorite Korean snacks of all time. Their churros flavor and corn flavor are so good, so I was really looking forward to trying these truffle flavor ones. You get these four layers of chips stacked on top of each other and you get an amazing crunchy texture. Taste-wise, these are sweet, salty, and really garlicky. It almost tastes like sour cream and onion lace chips except with a strong earthy truffle taste. I like that they were pretty salty in the beginning and slowly wind it down to tasting more sweet, which is pretty interesting. These are really good, but not on the same level as the churros and corn flavors. However, I feel like that they will grow on me. If you're looking for something savory, I would definitely pick these up. I give this a 9 out of 10. Next up, we have these honey butter sweet potato chips. This is a variation of the O's tube chips, which I absolutely love. One of my favorite Korean snacks of all time. These chips come with honey butter sweet potato coating and when you open the bag, you get this incredible sweet rich aroma that almost reminds me of walking into a bakery. Taste wise, these were not bad at all. They tasted almost like apple pie with a sweet and rich flavor. I also love that they're coated entirely in a sugary crystal and you get that extra crunchy texture from the chips and coating. I give this an 8 out of 10. Next, we have tteokbokki snacks. These include parsley flakes and they also added suncheong gochujang, which is that red pepper paste that you add to make tteokbokki. If you know me, tteokbokki is one of my all-time favorite Korean street foods. However, I've never had a good experience trying a crunchy snack version of this food. They're either too sweet without any spiciness or too spicy without any of the delicious savory goodness. Unfortunately, these were a miss too. They were way too sweet with a tiny tinge of spiciness. If I did a blind test, I wouldn't be sure if this was tteokbokki. Overall, I would just stick with eating regular tteokbokki. I give this a 3 out of 10. Next, we have these shrimp chips. These chips come coated in shrimp powder and they're super light and airy. These are really good and and addictive. They have a light shrimp flavor that's salty and a bit sweet and the texture is incredible. I still think Dongshim shrimp crackers are the gold standard when it comes to shrimp snack but these are very close second. I give this an 8.5 out of 10. And last we have these jjampong flavored crab snacks. Jjampong is a popular Korean spicy noodle dish that comes with a lot of different seafood inside. When you open the bag it has a really strong chemically processed smell that kind of turned me off a bit. In terms of flavor it tastes more like shrimp and I don't get any of the squid, mussels, and oysters that you will find in jjampong. It has a good spicy kick on the same level as sriracha. I thought this snack was a bit gimmicky and I couldn't really eat more than a handful because of the processed smell. I give this a 3.5 out of 10.